right guys, this is Chesapeake Beach. Yes. We are arriving and it looks like a ghost town. I kid you. Turn right on Bayside Road. What's up guys, it's Tammy. I am Ch in Chesapeake Beach today, uh, Chesapeake, Maryland. I just left um, Pinky's Restaurant in Owens, Maryland, which is about five minutes from here. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's a great place to stop and get yourself a dinner. They have everything from seafood to um, brisket, ribs, all that good stuff, all the sides that you can imagine, macaroni, cheese, greens, beans, you know what I'm talking about. And today, um, after I got my food and I was eating, I said, God, I sh I'm so close to the water. I should probably just take my meal and have it by the water. So that's what I did. And like I said, five minutes away is Chesapeake Beach. And um, I came across this uh, place, this memorial, it's called Chesapeake Beach Veterans Memorial Park. And it is such a little cute little area. I wanna show you guys, it's a memorial for the veterans. So of course, you know, I support that. Um, let me give you a, a, a clip of that. This place is literally by the water. It is so neat, so neat. And as I was walking around here, you know, you notice it's a very, very clean. It's also a very quiet area here as well. I don't know what it's like at night, um, but we'll we'll walk around just a bit and see um, what's here a little bit later. But I want to show you the spot that I chose. Let me show you the spot that I chose to finish the rest of my dinner. And you tell me if you had this choice, would you? pass it up okay you see the ocean it's literally right behind this park see this nice nice spot to just relax and gaze out at the water you have some people that are fishing here. I don't know if you can see that person on the pier. So there are a bunch of piers over there. There actually is actually some boats out there in the water too. Probably too far away for you to see. Um, yeah, and then of course there are some, I don't know if these are condos. I imagine these are condos instead of apartment buildings right here on the water as well. Um, looks like to the very far right of me, there's a little beach area there, but the rest of this, of course, you can't. You could probably walk out there just a little bit, but I'm probably sure um, they don't want you to go beyond that point. Look at the little duckies. Again, Chesapeake Beach. I'll see if I can find um, some other things that might be attractions here as well. Um, I don't know if the current climate situation has anything to do with the fact that it's so quiet and not very crowded at all or not. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, and here's the, um, here's the sign for this particular Veterans Memorial Park. I don't know if you can read it. The sign's so bright. It says, um, and they're dedicated to the men and women who served their nation, who gave their lives, who were POWs, who are still missing, who are never forgotten. Veterans Memorial Park here in Chesapeake Beach. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, yeah guys, so I have found some more um, attractions here at Chesapeake. It looks like they have a water park as well. And um, I'll just go around it. Of course, it's a little bit, it's 62 degrees here, so nobody's, nobody's here. But um, just for future references, they do have a water park here and it's right across from the little beach area. Okay, just so you can get a sense of um, how big the water park is or how small in comparison to what you probably used to. So, you guys been to this park? Back in the day, yeah. not lately. You're too big for it. <laughs> In the day they used to go here but not lately they look every bit of about 13 or 14 years old so maybe this is for smaller kids five or five to ten years old or something like that but it's an option guys right, so this is the um chesapeake beach resort and spa area looks like they got some little um like gift shops oh there's a museum There's the train, the railway museum. Okay. Um, and then looks like there are some um, other little gift shops and things here. It doesn't look like it's that big. Um, in fact, I am at the turnaround circle now. So, um, and I'll get out. Ooh, ooh, yes. There's a restaurant there, Rod and Real. I don't remember what's on. We'll get out and check it out and see what's what. Okay, there's no parking there. We'll see. So, literally just down the street, and I do mean literally just down the street, from Chesapeake Beach is North Beach. Um, and so we're entering into this little community right now, and um, it is not, it's not a, um, a large community guys but the beach is just over there and I'll um, I'll find a park but this used to be a place where my daughter and I frequent uh, years ago this little ice cream shop here um, not much else is here I see they have the Bayside History Museum um, and what people normally come to North Beach um, to do on the weekends because it's a quick trip outside of um, DC um, and local Prince George's County, um, Calvert County, Montgomery County, Maryland. Um, it's pretty easy to get here. So um, there's a boardwalk that runs parallel to the beach um, and you can kind of see it off there to the distance. I'll find a park here and um, I'll see if I can walk show you the boardwalk but um, like you say lots of residential homes here mostly condos apartment style homes um, now that I don't remember ever seeing that little shop there so I think that's fairly new nice addition there let's see if we can um, We'll see how far we get driving and then I'll park and then um, we can walk the boardwalk a little bit. But um, here's some little places here. Ice cream shop. Nothing special there. Just a little Hershey, Hershey ice cream shop. You can find those most places. There it looks like there's a line. So here's another ice cream coffee shop here. Not bad. So we can, yeah, the antique shops. Not bad there. Some more antique shops over here. Okay, and 
they've got a lot more places to eat now as well. There's a um, Mexican spot there. I'm going to see if I can turn down here and um, that way we can get a better view of what's, what's going on. Give me a second. Lots of changes, guys. I don't know if you guys heard that conversation that was going on in the background. But I've done a lot of changes here. Um, this area here where you see all these rocks used to be beach. <laughs> used to be beach area. But I don't know. It's been about 20 some years since I've been out here. I'm sure they had their reasons. But also, they have these barriers up here as well. Also, they have the barriers here as well. So, I guess that's for our safety. little houses here though right overlooking the water that's nice imagine coming out on your balcony and this is what you see every day every day very nice so let's just walk for a little bit to just get some exercise and walk along the water. Why not? Walk with me. Walk with me. Looks like we're probably gone as far as we can go on this particular road. So, I see it's blocked off. Where is it? Let's see. The guy I was talking to earlier, it looks like he may know. Let's see if he goes farther. He says he's lived in this area for a year and a half. That may be his home. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like it's fenced off. That is as far as we can go, guys. And the rest of it looks like it's just private property. So the rest of it's just private property, huh? What? On that side of it's just private property. Wait, I got I like the sidewalk. It's public property, but yeah, yeah I mean the over there. Oh private. gotcha, yeah. Those are beautiful homes over there. You got a, it's an interesting little stick you've got your... My selfie stick. 